This clip is a short demonstration of how to use the pivot table tool in Excel to generate frequency distributions and based on these you can of course calculate probability distributions. So we'll use a particular file here and you can see we have a number of variables. You can see there are names in the top and most of these are categorical variables with the exception of this variable but we are mainly interested in the categorical variables here so it's possibly best to start with creating the pivot table and then we see how powerful it is just make sure you have highlighted any cell inside that table and go to insert click on pivot table and you want a pivot table not a chart you can leave everything as it is. You want to create it on a new worksheet, the pivot table. So here it's now created a new sheet called sheet one in this particular case. This has two elements here on the left. This is where your table will appear once you tell Excel what to do. The important stuff is first happening here on the right hand side. You can see all the variables uh, which were in our spreadsheet. So let's say for instance, we are interested in the religion variable so what you can do is you take this religion variable and for instance put it into the column labels and you can immediately see that you get all the possible responses for the religion variable here in the columns so if you now for instance just want to count how many observations you have in these we use the variable in the first column here which I included and it's called count in that count variable all we have is values of one okay so it's actually not really a variable it's just the value of one for all observations so let's go back we can then take this count variable and put it into the values into the values box and you can see here we actually have a choice immediately as a default it comes up with sum of count and this is really exactly what you want so let's look at that first before we make any changes so in our table now underneath the possible answers no no answer and yes that is to the question let us just check in a legend do you find that you get confidence strength from religion or not that was the question so the possible answers were no no answer and yes and you can see that 348 answered no, 89 with no answers, and 281 with yes. And there was a plank, so quite often you will actually want to exclude the plank. So you can click on this little triangle here, we see all the answers, and we untick the plank. And here the plank is removed. So we have a total of seven, 18 responses. And these are the three for the three different classes. So that's our frequency distribution. You could also, if you go, if you click on sum of count, you can actually choose more options. Some of them will not appear on your screen. Let me just move it up. Sum of count, because we need to move it up a bit further here, and value field settings. You can use averages and all sorts of stuff, but we'll just ignore this for the time being. Sum of count is all you want. Now, if you want a join frequency table, let's say we want to cross plot the religion frequency to let's say the uh, fair dodging questions we'll put the fair question into row labels and you can see we had actually 10 possible answers 10 values here and there's a plank again and you can see in the column headings you can still see the values for the religion variable so let's untick the plank again we don't want any blank in here okay so in here are our responses and you could see whether these responses potentially change depending on the responses to the fair question change whether uh, you are religious or not so this is really what you need to think about what what you want now if you want to work with this table what you want to do is you want to highlight all these cells control C for copy or right mouse click and copy and go to a new sheet and in that sheet right somewhere in that sheet 
right mouse click and paste special and use this one two three that's values okay it will then just paste values so now you have your table and the important thing is now these are just numbers okay so the paste value is important because otherwise it will try and paste some formulas whatever formulas it uses in this table and that will not work but now you can continue on working with this and you can uh, calculate discrete probability distributions on the basis of this. So let me briefly go back. So all the interesting stuff is happening here. So if you don't want religion anymore, you um, take religion away and you could choose the UK variable, whether you are a UK citizen or not. And now you can see the frequencies. Again, you would possibly want to untick the blank. Okay, so that is all I had to say. That's all you need to know about pivot tables to tackle m most relevant problems in introductory statistics.